Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate MailChimp with HubSpot. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at MailChimp.com or log into your existing account. Once we are here, we can explore options of integration on our left sidebar. But the only integration that you can uh, make through in a, through MailChimp is uh, Facebook, Google, SurveyMonkey or Twitter. So let's go to automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, let's jump into integration, the top corner of our screen and back to the top uh, of the bottom left corner of this pop-up window and see all categories. Now uh, we can search from 200 and more apps, but first of all, we are uh, interested only in MailChimp now. And once we click on MailChimp as a first integrated app, uh, we have to choose its counterpart, which will be HubSpot, like this. Once we're at the, uh, HubSpot and MailChimp integration, uh, you can see already some popular integration that automate.eo uh, made for us. But if you won't be able to find the one that you're looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. On the left side, uh, underneath the triggers, remember to start with MailChimp, like this. Um, I'm going with the first option, but it's up to you. You can pick the one that you need, obviously. And underneath the actions, on the right side, go with a HubSpot, like this. Uh, last thing you have to do uh, you have to click on try it now button. You'll get the redirected to automate.eo login website. And then uh, once you log in, you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. Don't forget, I will link, uh, leave the link in the description underneath this video uh, for MailChimp, for, I'm sorry, automate.eo. We can also use zapier.com, which is very similar to automate. Just you can just so you can compare and find this self the best option. Uh, we also need to create a, a, uh, an account at Zapier.com, and once we do that, let's go to the top left corner and create a Zap. Once we are here, we are also asked to set up a trigger. So we want to start with Mailchimp first, like this. Now uh, let's go and set up a trigger event. Let's stick to the first one, continue. Now we have to log in to the account that we created on MailChimp or we are using at MailChimp, continue. And now we can test the trigger if it actually works, but it should work. Second action, as you probably thought once again, will be HubSpot. We click on HubSpot. Now we also have to create action event as same as at action at automate. Let's create a deal. So when the new audience appear in MailChimp, it will create a deal in HubSpot. And the last thing is we have to sign in to your HubSpot account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.